It's bad enough that bogus loan agencies are scamming victims of thousands of ringgit, but they are now charging sales and services tax, SST, on loans. A 49-year-old businessman, known only as Lu, was duped into paying 22,700 ringgit as a deposit to obtain approval for a 25,000 ringgit loan from a commercial bank. A conman who claimed to be from a company called GT Credit told Lu the refundable deposit included administration fees, credit source fees, and 2,000 ringgit in SST. After paying the initial deposit, the company claimed Lu's 40,000 ringgit loan had been approved, but demanded payment for additional SST charges for Bank Negara Malaysia before the money could be released. MCA Public Services and Complaints Department Head Datuk Seri Michael Chong exposed this latest scam during a press conference on Thursday. Chong said Lu came across the loan agency advertising low rates on Facebook and made inquiries. Motos Apprendi is very simple. Motos Apprendi, they will first convince you they are from the credit company. Okay? And this com uh, credit company will give you loan, okay? Loan. Any amount of loan you want, they will give it to you. Even you are blacklisted. Even blacklisted, no problem, huh? They will give you the loan, okay? And also, uh, the claim that all legalized, huh? Even Bank Negara also approved them, okay? Even they got letter from Bank Negara, they have the bank also, uh, the bank uh, to uh, support. So, no problem. You want any loan, you just uh, apply. So now he's in trouble because he realized that the money never come. He realized uh, that CMB never gave such a loan. He realized Bank Negara also never gave such a uh, letter. And Bank Negara told him that this is a scam. This is a scam. And all these, all these uh, they use this scammer, this con man, they use uh, this uh, company of credit company, they use people's name, they also use for five picture, so-called Avis and Aston in the Facebook, all these are innocent party. He said Lu presumed it would be better to borrow from the loan agency rather than loan sharks, but he ironically ended up borrowing 27,500 ringgit from seven loan sharks to pay the deposit and secure the loan instead. Where this scammer will advertise in the Facebook or advertise uh, this, what you call it, the flyer every, uh, or they put in the, all this, what you call it, the normally Facebook or the advertise uh, for giving out loans. This is the ninth case of people falling victim to money scams that Chong had received this year.